Sherman, set the Wayback Machine for fond memories. It's time for Throwback Thursday with Tom. Hi, welcome to Tom's Take on a Throwback Thursday. Yes, I am into historic elements of Lansing. Have you noticed that? Deep in the heart of Lansing. I'm walking down West Michigan Avenue in front of Edward Majeski Stadium, home of the Sexton Big Reds, a football field shared by both Eastern and Sexton for a number of years, but it's located over here at Sexton. The element of history I'm going to talk about right now, though, is focused on, to my left, across the street, Fisher Body. Fisher Body. This, this plant, body by Fisher, all the way down to Verlinden and then to the north. Huge building, huge plant, productive plant, great plant, great auto plant here in Lansing. What I want to pinpoint though is the historic element, maybe in the 60s, 70s, whatever, when the workers the Fisher Body would take a break and literally stand up outside i'm gonna show you a picture right now of the how the building looked this is uh i think around 1969 because i can recognize that pontiac le mans so at least it has to be 1969 and they would stand out during their breaks at night that afternoon shift and watch Sexton or eastern whoever's playing at majeski stadium that night or memorial stadium it was called before then watching play football. It was like the suites that you see in stadiums. This was ahead of its time. They had a suite right up there at Fisher Body watching high school football. How terrific is that? Was that? And just to show you how terrific was that back in the day when the Lansing School District was full of students. Look at this picture. This is class of 1970, graduating class, Sexton High School. Good Lord. There must be six, 700 students in that graduating picture. Far cry from today. Anyway, it's a throwback Thursday though, so let's go back to those glory days of 1970 and the 60s and 70s as I often do. Fisher body overlooking high school football at Memorial Stadium or Ed Majeski Stadium, whenever it was called at that time. What a great Friday night venue. True Friday night lights. Again, we'll talk to you tomorrow for another Tom's Take.